Hello, it's Oak here, and welcome back to uh, Broadside Gaming. Um, today we are going to do a first look at... What is it, Zug? We're taking a first look at Dominion, the third age of Age of Sigma. Oh, that's uh, very, dramatically, uh, very dramatically announced there. Um, yeah. Well, I mean... Oh my god, I'm so knackered. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's on Saturday, isn't it? So yeah, we're, we're going to look at the unboxing of this. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, um, we're mostly just going to be taking a look yeah. at some of the, the the really fancy cutscenes that they've done, which are, they're really good, and I'd, I'd really love everyone to have a look at them. Uh, we're gonna we'll skip around a bit because you know if you want to see the whole the whole stream, you know, just go and watch it on Warhammer TV and watch the entire hour and a half. We're not going to do the entire thing because I, I can't be bothered to be honest. No, I just want to look at the models, basically. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so I guess, um, yeah, because we, we're both uh, Warhammer fans. That's the nicest way to put it, isn't it? We're both big Warhammer fans in the uh, in the gaming sense of uh, the physical stuff, or the, the models, and we also play the games um, on the yeah, computer. I, like, well, I've, I've been in and around Games Workshop in some form or another since the age of about five, and you know you were there yeah. since it started weren't you I've, I've i've i own a first edition version of 40k or rogue trader yeah and, I've got and a first edition well. i remember the battlers i remember the battle of rocks drift <laughs> i remember i remember should we should we get on and watch it people don't want to hear yeah, yeah, that, uh, so i've I I not seen it i've not seen this before either so Okay, I, I do have some controversial opinions, but we'll we'll look at the stuff first, and then we'll talk about it. Oh god! So let's uh, let's segue into the first cutscene, and that uh, make me shout Conquai. No, 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 no. No, no not Conquai just... opinions. No, no, these aren't Conquai opinions. These are just uh, my <laughs> opinions on the models. But we'll have a look at the first cutscene. Oh, okay. And we'll just let it roll through, and people have a, a bit of a watch of it. We'll probably talk it and stop it a little bit and stuff. Oh, just because yeah. like we are terrified of copyright strikes, so if people are wondering why it's in reverse and there's no sound, that's why. Because we can't have baby broadside games being stomped on by a nasty copyright strike. Nope. But, but we do wanna we do wanna do this because it might be something it's slightly, slightly different we want to do. But we do feel it is gaming related, so um, we, we could pretend to be like Eddie Eccles and Andy and Adam Troke right now, yep. don't we? Oh, I've already. Wonder, Decided I'm going to be Adam Troke. Uh, I'll be Eddie. Oh, I'm, I'm Eddie. Uh, oh, he's not saying anything. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Cutscene. I've just, I just skipped it forward. <laughs> they've got some lovely art in their um in their place. Oh, they've got. The, I'm, I'd be surprised if they haven't got box art on their own walls. The storm it's box art. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. If I, just, if I just pause it there without yeah. the big pause button in the middle. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you see the two images there, they are both box arts from previous editions. Mm -hmm. Although well, that was very annoying. Why did the? Uh, well, we're gonna have to just live with it, I man. Yeah. Oh, why? Why? Um, where did the stormcast get like the box art from? Oh yeah, that's like literally. Yep. Uh, it's see, it's see, Nagash. I was thinking about buying a Nagash. I was looking at it as a model. It's I a good thinking, model. Uh, I want to buy that. So yeah, there we I go. We've got the, this. And if we just... Oh, well, the, the part I'm not going to skip back and forth. The video's too long for me to be able to get tight shots like that, but mm. it was a nice scene walking across the bridge there. And... Uh... So give me my, my giant hammer and my smashing stick. There you go, look at that. That's See, the problem is, when I first saw this, I looked at it, I thought, mm, it, it, the animation looks a bit janky, but I've got to remember that, that they're not a fucking animation company. You know, they're not... No. These these guys aren't, like... They're not Blizzard, Bethesda. are they? They're not Blizzard, they're not Bethesda. I can't go in thinking that mm. they're going to have that sort of top tier. But still, for, for a, for a cutscene, it's pretty good. And yeah. I think this... It's going to get better, so let's uh, let's carry I, on. I think it's like you know, you, you, you are, we are really spoiled by Blizzard for their films. Oh, yeah. They do absolutely amazing animation on their cutscenes. Oh, there you go. Gotcha. There's a bunch of stormcasts. New, new ones. Say, 
this. Yeah, they are the new Stormcast. Oh. And this, this is the first look at the uh, the enemy. Oh, this is like the new guys, is it? Yep. It's some kind of orc. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that actually looks a bit like my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's... Sorry, just going to pause it for a second there. Yeah. Literally storm striking in. Oh, that does look pretty good, actually. I love that. It's it's the fucking it's. I know they get called Sigmarines all the time, but it's literally them coming in their drop pod. Yeah, it, they it's ride like the line. Teleport, to be honest, isn't it? Yeah. A deep yeah. strike. Or so, or, I think you'll find it, sir. It's actually a deep strike. But yeah, <laughs> there uh, it is. A deep strike. Fucking ride the lightning, man. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look at those three paladins. Oh, Bardin. He's got a, sh a Bardin shield bash. He does. Yeah. And that's something we haven't seen. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a, some sort of goblin y thing. Goblin orc y thing. It's not. Uh, orc, yeah, but... It's bigger than an orc. Like a wary yeah. orc. Yeah, man. So if I just go back to that, is that something you don't you haven't seen at this point so far? It's green skins effectively using long range weapons, especially the crossbow. Mm, true. So up until now, what green skins have had Savage Orc Arab boys? And maybe a a Grok catapult. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Oh, and this was us on holiday where we uh, fought the uh, orky things. Yeah, yeah. Is that the box art for the new thing? It is. It is. This is where we had the box art. Where we got the box art for the uh, when we opened the. Uh, is it some sort of new storm host chamber they've opened up? Mm, they didn't say. No, oh, fair enough. So there we go. Back to them. And I'll just. Oh, okay. uh, so the first cutscene is very sexy. Let's see if this video actually wants to like skip forward like I'm telling it to do. Skipping forward. Why aren't you skipping forward? I don't know. Maybe you're clicking it wrong. All right, let's have a look. We're taking another look at some of the, the art pieces here. They're, these are, see, they're very lithe looking orcs, man. They're very, they're not like the chunky iron jaws. Skinny orcs. Yeah. Is that what the faction is called? The skinny orcs? No, man. They're the, uh. Oh. Well, it will come up in a minute there, actually. Yeah. yeah all right. So they're just having a look at some art. So let's, let's get up to the first model in the box, shall we? Do it. Oh, we've seen that one. Yeah, but it's a nice model. It is. We have seen it. We obviously didn't think of our technology through on this properly, did we? With the bloody oh, no, pause just... button. Because, well, it's, it's being an arsehole, so... Um, yeah. Well, so that, I think that looks fucking amazing. I love how they've done the armour. It is cool. It's got an interesting paint colour as well. I bet that's a new colour paint they've, they're going to release. Probably. I yeah, like it though. It looks like really too light to be, unless they've done some sort of like yellow shading on the armour. It's like a silver colour. I bet it's a new paint. This may be Runefang still with a seraphine wash over it. I don't know. Mm, it looks too, too light. Might yeah. be, I suppose. Yeah, I, I just bet it's a new paint. <laughs> it's sexy though it's a nice model and it comes in the box mm. so now here's the model from the fucking video stream do as I fucking tell you oh oh wow he's got like a beardy helmet yep beardy helmet so, so this is the actual this is the guy from the cutscene I really like this model I think it's a nice model and also I really appreciate how they've um, they're segmenting the armour now yeah i like the yeah i like the plates on the legs they look cool and also you and see I, they've got like different sorts of plates on the legs yep 
it's I think this is going to make it painting wise a lot more interesting because mm. you know, there's a lot more recesses for the washes and stuff to flow into. There's lots of, there's lots more little bits to play with, and also when I make because I'm I'm going to fucking order this box set. Obviously, non helmeted uh, trigger from Only Fools and Horses Head. <laughs> also, if you look, has he got like a griffin on his shoulder? And it, it's a griffin help. But, but what about that little griff hound next to him? It's like it, what in, you if you tell? watch the stream, if you watch the stream, they do yeah. get very stuck on this, saying, "Did he defeat the griff, the the major one, and then all the rest of them followed him, or was it a mountain that died in battle and he had it stuffed and turned into a cloak?" And it's like, best we not talk about this. And they basically said, "Come quiet and moved on." It's a private matter. <laughs> Never you mind. Never private you matter. mind. It's a private matter. We'll move on to the next one. You see, they started using uh, sort of like grey on bases as well, base rims. Yeah, I, well, they did on the, sure. on the first edition of Age of Sigma. I just didn't like it. Mm. Fucking it should... video timeline. Steel just... Legion, Steel Legion Drabble Black, mostly black. It's a gentleman's basing colour. So every time I try and skip forward to a new image, it just skips backwards again. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I promise. I'm not touching it. I'm not. Trying no, no. It's 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 literally just it's just the soft being a piece of shit. Weird helmet. Yeah. So basically, this is the um the caster. This is the new castry model. Hmm. And uh, you know you can have it basically the human side or the completely non-featured. Mask. I, I mm. kind of like both of them. I like both of them. I think they're cool. Yeah. I like the model. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, you know, not to um, not to um, overly sexualise chest plate on the uh, on the armour yeah. as well. Yeah, it's it's quite we obviously a feminine approval. model. Yeah, but it's not like, eh, hey, boys, look at my tits. You know, it's not weird. <laughs> It's, they haven't just made it like cringy, which is nice. No, 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 no. It's 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 good. It looks good. It looks um. It looks like there's there's room in there. Yeah. The storage, but uh, also kind of like formed and not like overly sexualized. Which you know, again, I don't care. But it, it's just like you know, it's one of those criticisms of armor on female models, isn't it? In fantasy environments, that it's overly sexualized. So, but, yeah, I think it's a good. I think it's a good compromise. It looks good from the compromise position. Yep, like the and scrolls now, and things. Yeah, it's, now maybe we've moved on to the. Um, Ooh, I've got to say, I like the. Yeah, yeah. Those, 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 um, those little things that hang down between the legs, the armory thing. That's oh, probably scale. Good, yeah, it's scale. It's the 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 flap. <laughs> yeah, it's scale now. Yeah, but hanging between the legs. It's yeah. probably a name it's, for that. It, man, it's literally scale mail. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's mm, it's it's enough. it's like chainmail but stronger. It's like yeah, um, but you would have a flappy thing hanging down your yeah, you would. You, they do. The scale mail is used as um, it's because of the weight of it. Fair enough. So yeah, I don't Literally, know. I've never is... owned scale mail, so I have, and I have made some. Batman. <laughs> but no, this model. I love this model. This it's that fucking. Banner. So this is obviously the banner bearer for the box for the uh, uh, Sigma rights. Did they? Um, the did they say um, whether the banners? I bet it's, it looks like it's got like a raised bits on it. You know, like yeah, a fill in the box type. It's, it's a textured banner, so it's not just a flat thing you've got to paint on. Oh, good. Yeah, it's not like the old days of Games Workshop. We had to fucking freehand every banner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I love that model. It's it's just I really love the new uh, armor style of the the uh, Stormcast. It just, they just really nice. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah, so more plate bits. Yeah, I figured out the sh the shortcuts kind of for this. So new what? I'm figuring out the shortcuts. All right, I'm just sitting here with a beer. Time you now these, work. these I fucking I love. I just absolutely these are amazing. I like the paint on the on the um. I like the paint on the blue on the cloaks. Yeah. Go on the right because it's obviously going to be reversed. 
So the black guy. Oh yeah, the black guy. His his cloak looks awesome, and I love his stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got his foot on a rock. The middle female model. It's like, uh, man, I just like that. You know, she's holding her how beard and just slowly drawing the sword at the same time. I think that's pretty cool. When when a halberd isn't enough, you need yeah. sword action. But these apparently are the elite bodyguard oh, to right. uh, the Stormcast characters, and apparently uh, they've there's got some weird rules in there that they can the long the more turns they're with a character, the more they they like mind meld with him almost like um, the thirty from like you with Game. me <laughs> or you with me. Mm, no. You're like definitely the, 30 from the bodyguard. David Mills. Mm-hmm. Like the 30 from David Mills <laughs> books. You know, they, they can mind meld and they basically become more like the character they're protecting and they gain his stats and his traits. Ooh, weird. Yeah. Weird. I like that though. They look nice. Yeah. Not the most uh, detailed commentary in the world, but they've got the leg things going on like the main guy had. The plates on the legs with the three segmented thing on the right, the right, le- the left leg. Yep, Bear in mind, the, 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 the stream is reversed. You, she'll be able to tell unless you're unless you're living in a backwards mirror world, and then it's totally still backwards. I don't know. Welcome to Mirror World. There are over thirteen mirrors in Mirror World. You think about it, if they're living in Mirror World and watching from Mirror World, then they're they're still going to see it wrong. But they'll be like, "Why is it backwards?" <laughs> so, the annihilators. Right. Well, they're chunky, aren't they? <laughs> these are some chunky boys. They're chunks. So these are the new paladins. They're good. Uh, just, I, there's not much I can say that I don't like about them. Maybe the the paladin leader, I'm not too keen on his stance, you know, the shield on the floor. I think it's a little too like, static. Why you got your shield on the floor? Not how you use a shield. What would King Leonidas say about that? It's lift, your, lift your shield. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, they're pretty cool. I like them. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I think the thing about the Stormcast aesthetic is that, you know, if you like Space Marines, then you're probably going to like the Stormcast. That's, you know, it's a, it's not an unfair comparison, but it's just like, you know, big su- chunky suits of plate now, stroke power armor. I think there's yeah. a certain level of goodness there. What I do like is in the narrative, I have been doing some reading about it, basically, uh, Sigma and the Sigmarines, or the Stormcast, whatever you want to call them, are basically fucked. They are losing ground left, right, and center to everyone. And I actually quite like them going from like the beginning of Age of Sigma when they were literally, you know, you know, Jesus' own Sigmarines, they could do no wrong, to they are getting absolutely butchered left, right, and center. And it's actually showing in the models and the different things, like, Every time they're reforged, they lose bits of their personality until they become, you know, like the silver ones, the hallowed yeah. ones. That chamber is basically the Stormcast have been reforged so much, they're basically blank, which is why they're silver. So happens they to have... my dad. <laughs> they, they literally have none of their past selves left in them, which I thought yeah. was quite interesting. yeah. But the shields, man, I really love the shields. The very meteorite-looking middle of them. Yeah, they got some nice little. That's a nice little effect on the middle there. I'm just uh, soaking up the, soaking up the, the sort of the palette of them. It's slightly different to what they did before, but I guess it's the same-ish. But yeah, it looks good. It still looks like a slightly different paint. I mean, maybe it's just the way they painted it. That looks like more of a um, sort of classic, sort of gold. Yeah. Whereas the uh, that woman with the silver armor, maybe she isn't. Maybe she isn't going to get a new paint then. If it's just her, you know, because like when the new Necrons came along, yeah, they, they kind had of said, "Oh, we're like being new Necron sort of armory color." Oh, let's have a look at these. Let's have a look at these. Vindic- vind- Vindicators. Vindic- no, vindictors. Vindictors. <laughs> these. Yeah. Big fan of these as well. I know I've been a big fan of all of this so far. Don't worry, yeah. I will shit. You'll do what? Uh, I'll shit on th- on the model soon and say I hate Ooh. them. Uh-huh. Dun, dun, dun. But uh, <laughs> very very dynamic poses. 
they're not like the original Sigmarites. They were quite static, just standing there. Yeah. Like... And I like how they've they've slimmed down the they armor. Slimmer, aren't they? I don't know. I like the old chunky armor that bit. Mm-hmm. These look more real, realistic. <laughs> like, more, they're more yeah. human, man. Like they're supposed to be because yeah, they, they yeah. are. They're meant. To... They're just humans that have been chosen by Sigma and you know been bestowed <laughs> upon with his power and forged on the anvil and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But heart, they are still human. Mm, I suppose so. I, I'm just like a fan of the older. I don't know. I just think the old ones all right. I think the old models look all right. Oh, they don't look bad. I wouldn't say oh they look shit in comparison. You know, you yeah. you still happily use them. I think I would. I I would probably paint them without helmets on. To be honest, I quite like them without helmets on. I um I don't mind. I'll do either. When I paint, I don't mind. I'm chill. Do you get like full helmeted options and an unhelmeted? Yeah, yeah. yeah there is two options. There you get two options for every model: mm-hmm. is helmeted or unhelmeted, which I highly appreciate. Yeah. You got your little banner bearer. You got your um. You got a baby banner. Yeah, you got baby banner, and you got your prime, obviously, with the slightly fancier hat. Yeah. Vindictors. Yeah, so these are the new battle line for them. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, somewhat. So we'll pause here. So what do you think of them so far, man? What do you? What are your they thoughts? they look like Sigmarites quite a lot. I mean, yeah, they look quite nice. They look quite nice. I mean, it was going to have to be Stormcast, though, wouldn't it? In the in the yeah. starting up box, yeah. I mean, it looks all right. It looks all right. I mean, I suppose you know I'm not the biggest fan of Stormcast. Just I, I don't know. I think they look all right, but yeah, I just think Age of Sigmar's got lots of interesting models. Oh yeah, and another power armor one's not necessarily the most well, exciting. They're always going to make more. Cause they're, they're poster boy, aren't they? Or post the child. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I've but just I been like through like think. a. Just painted a bunch of Iron FD King, and you know, they're like really nice models. And, uh, yeah. you know. I'll probably get a few eventually. Well, I'll probably pick up this, the, this uh, Dominion box. They did say it is while stocks last, so. Uh... God, it's going to be another one. <laughs> yep, it's going to be so, another Indominus. So. When they say pick it up while stocks last, I mean pick it up in the first 10 minutes of it going on pre-order. Yep. Pick it up oh. in the first 5 to 10 minutes of it going on pre-order. Yeah, they did say they've made <laughs> lots of them, but, you know. They say that every time. <laughs> they say that every time. Let's, oh let's God. find it. Right. Look, like, look at that guy on the... What was his what? Uh, name? Not Eddie Eccles, the other guy. With his pile of model of boxes. Has he got a cursed city there? He's just doing it to piss people off. He probably does. He's got an Indomitus in there somewhere. He's got a Blood Bowl. He's got a Talisman. Right, let's, let's skip past his pile of shame. So we've got another cutscene come up. Uh, this one, this, you know, if you want to watch this, obviously go watch it on their channel. It's, it's not particularly interesting. Just then preambling well, to oxes, well, so let's well. let's have a look. Here we go. First look at the new race. Well, oxes. Mm. See, I have a slight problem with these, but really? I want to hear your I want to hear your opinions on these before I give out mine. Okay. Let me look. Oh, good. They're spinning, spinning so fast. That's no, fine. Okay, let me. They're moving, moving a lot. Why haven't they got staking? Why are they? Do they do this to the other ones? Give like the moving images. No, because okay. they're not showing off an entirely new race. No, I suppose this is. Is it an entirely? It looks like orcs to me. Well, it's entirely swamp, new. Uh, the what? Oh, the swamp I, thought, I, thought, I, thought that, I thought that was the name of the faction. <laughs> the swamp swallows. Oh, it's like that's a weird name. Right, it's a they are... killer boss. They're the cruel boys. That's what they're called. The cruel boys. Yep. They sound like a um, like, basically like a like a Britpop band. Yeah. 
The crew boys. Crew They're boys. basically swamp orcs. Swamp orcs. Okay, they look like Lord of the Rings orcs. Yes. <laughs> therein <laughs> is my <laughs> problem. <laughs> they look like Lord of the Rings orcs. <laughs> therein is my exact problem. That was my first thought, and I'm so glad you brought it up. That is my problem with them. It's it's just the face shapes are like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that that beast it's riding looks cool. I like that. That's that's it looks like a a modern day battle cat. Yep. And the shields are weird. And yeah, they're supposed to be. Painted. They're supposed to be uh, incarnations of the new beast lord thing they they brought out. But apparently got... these guys have never actually seen him, so they they just went. That's probably what he looks like and made oh, their shield right. look like him. They've got like really short legs as well. <laughs> that guy's got the shortest little legs. Is he got little baby legs, or is it me that I'm? No, I'm, I'm he's like, got. He's got quite short legs. Because it, it looks like. Also, do you think he's got his junk right up against that that um beast's back as well? Because he's wearing that skirt thing. I would have thought so. Do they have junk? Orcs. Orcs. Mm, I think it has been. Disproven that orcs have any sort of junk. Yeah, but that's like orcs in 40k. Well, I assume they follow the same path in Age of Sigma. Oh, maybe. There we go. Here's the. I don't mind this one too much. The castle looks good. He looks like a good old wizard. He looks good. Yeah. And his pot oh, like... rock. What? What's that coming out? Is that like a liquid coming out of the thing in I his hand? It's, it's a liquid turning into a smoke. Oh, right. That's a bit Which weird. I quite like. I think it's cool. Oh yeah. On, that, on his uh, back, he's got a giant uh, gargantuous skull that he's using as like a cape. Oh yeah. Piece. Like you do. I've I've got one of those. Yeah, yeah me too. I man. recognise it. Yeah. Never leave home without it. Yeah, I reckon I, I wear one of those out in the rain. Keeps uh keeps the weather off. I like him. I like his. I like his um robes. The robes look good. Yeah, and I think you'll start to notice it, all of them have the same gut plate or belt with the uh, oh, yeah. Lord's face on it. I've only seen like one model so far, two models. Right. We shall see more. Cool. This yeah, fucking boss will work. So we go. Here's a killer boss. So the same thing as the gun, the badger thing. This one's on hmm. foot. They have got so, little legs and long bodies. Very little legs. Yeah. Again, man. They remind me too much of the original Lord of the Ring models, and I didn't like them. Mm. Maybe they will grow on me. Like I love the I love the stab grot. The stab grot looks awesome. Yeah. Don't know. I have but, to see one. I've only seen Helmet's head so far and grots. So. Oh, so they've got grots as well. Yeah. Stab grots. Alright. 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 That's alright. I don't mind the legs. I mean, they can have little dumpy legs if they want. So here we've got the banner. Yeah. The Belch banner. Again, it that face, it looks like a cave troll from Lord of the, the Rings. Mouths, the mouths look too small for orcs. Yeah. But I mean, I suppose it's a different sort of, sort of orc. So like, It's a different breed of orc. And maybe seeing more models... They'll grow mm. on me more. And man, you know, I'm a huge orc fan. I, I've got orcs in 40k and Age of Sigmar and fantasy orcs and everything. And I love, I love orcs. I don't Maybe know how to feel about this. Too much. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's all right. It looks like, I mean, you know, I don't. I, I'm, you know, what? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty uh, chill with my like what I like and what I don't like in the um. Oh, that is a, a banner from the um the um. The, uh, what's it thing the preview thing that they release I, I think I'm the first person on the internet to have spotted that yeah sure why not <laughs> also if you notice it looks like uh, where he's holding the banner it's actually it looks like his hands at the top of the banner like he's got a really long arm probably has got long arms so here are the bolt boys so the ones with the crossbows we saw oh yeah they look good yeah, I like these. They don't look as long. They don't look quite as... <laughs> you know, they still look quite gangly for orcs. Mm. But 
the whole point, and they said, so the Iron Jaws are like Gorks boys, so they're brutal but cunning. Mm. But these are like Morks boys, so they're cunning but brutal. Or the other way around, I can never fucking remember which way. Around. You know, so these ones they fight. They don't just fight like fly in and just go into berserker rages and just yeah. mow them down. These things do the s- sneaky stabbing and you know. Yeah, that's good. I, yeah, I think I, I think I look good. I, I like that. I like that. It's all right. Still not a fan of the grey rims on the bases though. Well, no, but I think that's you know you could, I, I think you might be able to change that though if you paint your own. Yeah, but you know, I, I had it beaten into me as a small child. The only acceptable base color for the only acceptable color for a base rim is black. Right, so here's your, here's your battle line. I quite like them. Yeah, they're not. Well, I don't mind these too much. But what I do like, and what I really appreciate, is you can use these alongside iron jaws. All right, that's cool. So, I would probably use these as the battle line and get rid of the Ard Boys, because the Ard Boys are very old models and they don't look very good. And I would keep the... I can't remember what they're called anymore. The Brutes, yeah. I would keep the Brutes and the Boar Boys. And I would use these and the Bolt Throwers. I don't care. Yeah, I like those. I like them. I like I like the way they are opposed and stuff. They look kind of like quite nice. They're quite dynamic. Yeah. And the boss, obviously the one with the slightly larger hat, he's oh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, no, and I think more of a walky face. Yeah, maybe because he's showing more teeth. Yeah, maybe. How oh, I like that. Is there more? I think there is more. We shall zip along. Okie dokie. And this is where we get to a bit of the, the controversial side in a few mm-hmm. seconds. Could you, there we go. What, what? Oh, so there were hobgoblins. There are hobgoblins, man. And they even alluded. So look at the banner bearer. I see All the right. banner bearer. Look at the runes. I I see runes. What do they remind you of? <laughs> runes. Do they remind you of dwarfen runes? Maybe bastardized? I, I don't know, man. Don't know. Maybe. They alluded basically that um, <laughs> the hobgoblins serve a darker master, and I think they are alluding to cursed dwarves. All right. I mean, they said the hobgoblins aren't entirely on the payroll of the Cruel Boys and they work for somebody slightly darker. I like that. Like they've got the whole that's quite the old school hobgoblin look, isn't it? With a slightly um sort of Yeah. Samurai sort of armor. Yep. The samurai armor, would that be the right way to call it? <laughs> that Did sort I... of vague aesthetic. Yeah. I mean, it's nothing like so. The hats, the hats, maybe the shape of the hats roughly resemble samurai helmets. And, you know, the cord holding them together and the way the plates are kind of angled and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, but the, that armor's just like some fucking shit armor, isn't it? Well, it's, it's, more coherent. it's more coherent than any of the other armor the orcs are wearing. Yeah. This armor has been forged for them by somebody more capable than orcs, Ooh. which is what they said on the stream. So I think in the future, man, we will be seeing Chaos Dwarves again. Oh, that's good. It is good. I like Chaos Dwarves. Hmm. Because they've got the old dwarf centaurs, haven't they? Yep. And they're bound to be an Age of Sigma. Who doesn't like a dwarf centaur? Yep. It's to be a monster to not like a dwarf centaur. Let's try and skip on a bit. The, the, the controls in this are quite rudimentary, so I'm doing... You're doing very well. Is there more? Can. That's it. That's the whole Apparently. box. That's what's no, in the there, box. There is more, but I'm stuck in an advert for Dave at the moment. 
for the next 20 seconds, we get to watch an advert for Dave. Oh, we don't. Do we're, not seeing a, we're not seeing the advert for Dave. Oh, good. Well, you don't have to go through this. I do. It's fucking stupid. God, I hate oh. terrestrial TV. But you're, um, you're, you're um, suffering, so we don't have to. Yeah, I'm suffering for your sins. There you go. There's a full overview of the box. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. 60 models in total. Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? You get apparently you get twenty of the hobgoblins. But yeah, there, there are actually more models to look at, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, let's see if I can just skip ahead because they do a whole load of talking that I just that we're not going to look at and I don't particularly care about. They do an unboxing. They're looking at sprues. Blah blah blah. I don't care. Ooh, sprues. Oh, everyone likes looking at sprue, don't they? What? We're not going to look at the sprues? No. No. All right. It's being a dick again. So I'm just going to. A... <gasps> the box. The box is really nice, and I'd probably frame up one of those pictures and stick it in my office. So yeah, they're going to... Oh, then they did this really cringy bit where he's talking to Sigmar and it hurt my soul. Here we go. Knight to the Griffhounds. That's quite a cool Griffhound. Look at that chariot. I love They've it. Got chariots. Yeah, they do. They've got Griff chariots. That's pretty cool. I love it. So pause that's it a, there. So that's a lovely... Knight, uh, a new Judicator. Yeah. Nice movement on the old uh, Griffounds there. Yep. I like that. And I, I, I like the pose as well for the Judicator. Yeah. Because apparently the, the Stormcaster between six to seven feet tall, so that bow would probably be about ten feet tall. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> so you have to bring your rocker along with you to put one foot on it so you can pull it. Yep. That's his, that's his launching rock. I, I quite like that model. I'm a fan of it. It's even got like a weird base. Mm. He's that long. He needs his own like bike base. His bow's so big. <laughs> and, his, to, his, and his tape is it. so flappy. Yeah, he needs to draw it by being on a special base of his own. Oh, this is when they broke the stream. It's almost as good as us when we um, live stream. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. There we that go. That's cool. I like this. I really I like do. A chariot. It's pretty. It's pretty basic looking, but I, I like it. But it, the thing is, is it doesn't need to be super, super fancy. And mm. I like the helmets. I like the helmets, man. And the griff. They're not griff hounds. These ones. These are griff. Big, steeds. big griff. Griff chargers. Yeah. Griff. I think big griffs. I, I think they look amazing. I love them. They do it good. I think I would still paint these the celestial lines though, so I would change the blue to probably screamer pink, but keep the gold. I think gold and screamer pink go really well together. I'm just remembering that colour, possibly. <laughs> you remember my uh, Death Guard, all the robes and stuff on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I know that colour. It's it's more of a it's more like a. Is it less pink? It's more like a burgundy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and I quite, I quite like it. Sort of wine coloured. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's it's a really nice colour to work with, and it's more subtle than Gene Stealer purple. So I think that would look really nice because uh, I always struggle to make purple look good. It always looks a bit yeah. shit when I paint it. Same man, I have the same problem with purple. Yeah. Which is why I'm thinking scream of pink. Because it's a nice trope. Why, why it's... does Adam Trope do all the talking? He doesn't. It's, it's, oh, here we go. We've, and we've got the the next series of uh, the Cunning Boys. The Gladi Owl. Michael yeah. Trolls. Beastier. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I I really like these. The Beastier. I love, and I love this man by Grotz as well. The 
sports yeah, that's are really, involved with that's that. Really kind of nice, that. I like that. Yeah. I wonder if that's all like the base. So if you look at the base, it looks like it's got rocks. They normally don't do that sort of rock type shit on the bases. I think that is part of the model. The actual the boulders and things. But what about the the, the sand? It looks like that will be glued on top. I suppose so. I quite like that. I think it's yeah, that's, that's a pretty. Looks nice. I like, that. I like that. I say nice a lot, but I'm quite tired. I would think of better words if I wasn't tired. Maybe. Probably, Probably not, actually. No. <laughs> I remember my, my year four teacher, man, Mrs. Jones, she uh, she made us, she banned the word nice and said we had to think of other words. And since then, don't use it very much. Um, but this... All right. It's alright, I like. <laughs> I like this model. It's... It's, <laughs> it's really cool. Man, it's a fucking trog off. So it's basically a giant troll. He's been branded. And I I appreciate that one, the gut plate is the same as the guy riding him. So they've got matching gut plates on, which is very cute. Oh, yeah. And also, you know, the guy's he's sitting on a little stool on top of his head. Yeah. On his back, there's a pillow, so he doesn't get chafed. <laughs> look at the look at the detail that's gone to that pillow. Oh, right, the pillow on his back, yeah, at yeah. the base of his back, yeah. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's just, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty strange, well, but I like yeah. that. I do think they're trying to maybe rebrand the orcs a bit. I would have preferred they'd stayed with the Iron Jaws and expanded on them, but, you know... Mm, I suppose, you know, if they can all be using a destruction army, then they probably can be, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I'll never say no to New Orcs, because mm. if fucking Sigma knows they need some love. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that is, I think that is the uh, the end of the new models as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll just leave it there looking at that one. So, what did you think? What did you think of the new models? Um... They look all right. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> the thing about it is, I'm, I guess I'm a, a moderate orc fan, and Sigma Rights, I think I've just covered. I've, I think I've already said why I, I feel about them. But it, it looks okay, but I mean, yeah, I, that, I suppose. That is what almost put me off. What? The mod, I've just switched back to it on the stream, if you can see. Oh, yeah, it's catching up. The killer oh, boss on the Great Nash Tooth, yeah. Mm. As soon as I saw it, I went. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, again, you know me. Something's got. I've got to incredibly like something to evoke a strong emotional reaction out of me. And I think these are a sufficiently okay. <laughs> <laughs> does that sound? Does that sound like? I'm, I'm not. Frothing with anticipation to buy them, but then again, oh, no. yeah, I've got. Uh, I like them. They they don't look shit. There you go. Will you be buying the box set? When's it out? June. Sometime in June, they said. It's like next month, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna go with. No. You, you're not going to buy the box set? Don't think so. No. Oh. Oh, I've got a lot queued up at the moment, man. Uh, I'll be buying the box set, man. Yeah. I'll be buying it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I will. I might, I might change my mind between now and then, but um, I should really finish painting the Soul Wars box before. I will say, I, I'm more excited for the, uh, the Undead they've just released and the Vampire Counts far more excited for them than I am for this. But it's nice to see they're breathing life into the orcs again and they're changing uh yeah. how these sig sigmarines look. Yeah, again, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're adding it's a human army, so obviously it should be male, female, blah blah blah. You know? That is true. It's just, it makes sense. Increasing now, a little bit more of the old If they had put female orcs in and made them very obviously female 
then I would have a problem with it because orcs don't have a sexuality. They are fungus. Yeah, they yeah, are absolutely. two funguses that have turned into a creature. That's what happens with you, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> but but for stuff, would, stuff like chaos. Yeah. No, chaos, vampires, Stormstrike. I'm really down with the new more um, range of models that they're bringing out for them. And they're not overly sexualizing any of the models, which I really like. Because yeah. it just makes it creepy. <laughs> so true. It's so true. It's it just, does, man. Yeah, it just yeah. makes me cringe. It is pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can make a model alluring and sort of attractive without going down the the creepy spearmint rhino fucking yeah. avenue. Sometimes, you know, leaving stuff to the imagination is more sexy. Yep. Yeah. But no, I like this box set. I probably yeah. will buy it, it, it but I'm like not say, frothing at the mouth for it. No, it, it looks fine to me, but I, I think I think a lot of people are going to like it, to be honest. But I, I think I, my my senses are dulled by the sheer pile of crap that I have to actually paint, and I'm making absolutely no progress on it at the moment because I keep making fucking YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be rushing out to uh, start collecting either one of these armies, but mm. you know, I, I'm still like trying to get my hands on the um, the Blood Knights from the Vampire release. Good luck with that. That yeah, that is what. That is what I've been waiting for for the last 10 years, but... <laughs> but anyway, no. I think... Anyway, so we, we have looked at it, reviewed it, and we're like, eh, it's, it's all right. There you go. You're going to buy it. I'm not probably going to buy it. I give it... Just, I give it a good old... I call it a mild... Mild level of anticipation. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's all right, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. Okay, nice one, nice one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. I think that is our review done. Yeah, yeah, man. And uh, just like I say, if anyone's uh, got to this, thanks, Kevin, for getting this far. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. And um, I guess we are going to say adieu. If you enjoyed the content on the channel, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification, and, you know, if you've watched this far, then you're awesome, and, and thank you very much. And we, 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 sincerely, I say this all the time, but we really, really do appreciate your subs and your, your likes and your comments. It's, it's most amusing. Especially your comments. It, yeah. it, it does. <laughs> we, we do sit there and go, oh, we've got a comment, and we talk about it. <laughs> and we're like, oh, you've got to reply to that one, and, you know. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah it's, it is good. And, and, and it does keep us going, so. It does. So yeah. thank you very much, guys and girls. Yeah. Yep. And if you've got this far, you're one of the special ones. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye.